it's essential that we build computational models which act as thinking tools for us. We don't have a central blueprint which tells the cells what to do. Their behaviour is a result of the interaction between the individual cells. So this is a representation of cells growing in a dish in the laboratory. And these blue cells that you see here are stem cells so that they will divide forever and they will grow and divide and they move around because of the physical forces which act on them. And as they continue, you see that we've now got a different type of cell there. This is called a transit amplifying cell. Trans stem cells divide forever. Transit amplifying cells can only divide a limited number of times. If we con continue further on, then we start getting a third type of cell. These are called committed cells, and committed cells can no longer divide. They will progress to produce corneocytes, which are the dark brown cells. Corneocytes lose their nucleus, they become flattened, and they are the cells which are on the surface of your skin. If they are on your hair, these are the cells which produce dandruff. And this is a continuous process of renewal. And we can wound that. We've now scraped away some of the cells and wounded it. And you can see that we have got cells moving into the wound. The yellow colour on the cells there indicates that one of the important signalling systems in the cells has been activated. And this is controlling what the cells do. And if we continue for sufficiently long with that, then we find that eventually what we get is the proper structure of the skin again and our wound has healed.